guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Destiny and today we are going to be setting up my weekly Hobonichi Cousin for the week of July 31st to August 6th. Um, to those of you who watch all of my setups, you may have wondered where my setup for last week was and well, I didn't use it. I didn't use it. Um, I didn't do any planning at all. So all of my dailies are blank as well. Last time I used it was on Sunday. So yeah, there's that. Last week was just a weird week for me, I guess. Uh, I wasn't really feeling my best and I honestly didn't do anything. I didn't work in any of my planners. All I did was do my Bible study, watch YouTube, <laughs> and play Sims. So hopefully this week will be better. I am hoping to get back into it and have a much better time. So yeah, let's get into it and create this cute setup with this freaking amazing Lucky Charms pack from, of course, the Coffee Monsters Co. I'm very excited to get into it. Of course, you know, I never remember where I put my washi strip for my moods. So I put it on 21 last time and I think that was a good spot because I don't need that much room to write my moods. So we will stick it in the exact same spot. <laughs> uh, also, if you guys also enjoy Sims and you enjoy watching Sims Let's Plays on YouTube, I have a Sims YouTube channel. If I remember, I will try to remember to link it if anybody wants to check it out. Um, I've not been posting on it for about nine months, but I just filmed the first episode to the Joy of Life Challenge. So if you guys are interested, I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, that would be really cool. We can communicate over there too. Wouldn't that be so much fun? I think so. <laughs> I love watching other people um, do Sims challenges. So, you know, maybe you guys are interested in it too. Um, so yeah, I will have it linked in case anyone is interested. Uh, but anyways, as for <laughs> as for my little trackers I'm going to do, I'm going to do exercise, no spend. And you know what? You know what's crazy? I didn't do, since I didn't film last week, uh, I didn't plan anything. I didn't get to go over how I did. And guys, this is my, I know I didn't spend on that day because this was the first week, I think all year that I did not spend anything all freaking week and I'm so proud of myself. So I'm gonna try to do it again this week. Um, so we're gonna track exercise and no spend and I really wanna track stretch because I need to get back into stretching because holy goodness, I am really noticing that my back is getting so janky again because I haven't stretched in a long time. I mean, to be honest, I haven't even worked out in a long time. Like I didn't do anything last week. Um, to take care of myself, so don't we love that? <laughs> don't we love that for myself? So my back and hips have been awful. Like, they have been hurting so darn bad. But, like I said, hopefully we can get back into it this coming week. So let me know how your guys' weeks have been, since it's been two weeks since we chatted. Um, what... Have you guys been up to in your planners? What have you been up to in your life? I would love to connect with you guys. I just, I'm so like um, antisocial in real life, but <laughs> I really would love to like have people to talk to online, I guess, like on if you guys commented on my channel or whatever, because I don't know. It's so much easier to talk to people online, you know, because. I don't know, like they're not in front of your face, so it's not as um, uncomfortable, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's not as intimidating. Okay, so plan for the week. I am going to stick over here on Saturday. It's Sunday right now when I'm filming, but I normally film on Saturdays, and so I still want to try to do that. 
and I'll be doing it during my son's first nap, which will probably be around 11, 30, 12. So we'll put plan for the week there. Update planners. I'm just going to save these because I don't know exactly when I'm going to use these, but isn't Helen's new layout so freaking good? Like all these little thingies down here, like, oh my God, so cute. I'm in love. Okay, then let's put a little mood thing down there. I'm not sure which one I should put. I either want to put the rainbow or this little dude even the lucky charms. Let's do the rainbow because we hope for a good week. Let's hope for a good week. So let's have a rainbow week, a lovely, beautiful, a beautiful week. Let's go for it. If any of you guys do play Sims also, by the way, let me know. Do you do like challenges or st and stuff? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do one, two. Yeah, I'm not stupid. <laughs> do you guys do challenges like the little Sims challenges that people create or do you just play it like? Do you just do what you want to do? I'm interested to know because I notice that sometimes whenever I'm playing it, if I'm not like working towards something like following a challenge to where like there's rules and there's stuff that you have to accomplish, I notice that I sometimes get bored because I have nothing to work for. I'm kind of just, you know, my Sims just waking up, I'm making her eat going to the gym maybe, going here. But with a Sims challenge, they, the creator of that challenge gives you rules like you need to max out this skill, you need to do this, you start off homeless, you live in a tent. So you guys should let me know. And if you do do challenges, you should let me know what challenge you're doing because maybe you're doing one that I haven't heard of before. So the one I'm currently starting on my channel is I have like a bunch of other series that I've started and stopped. Like like I said, the last time I posted on this channel was nine months ago, and I was doing pretty good. I used to post like two, at least two videos a week, and now it's, like I said, it got a little hard there for a while. But the challenge, it, the challenge I'm starting now is the Joy of Life Challenge, and then I have the MLS Legacy Challenge, the Whimsy Stories Legacy, the Crybaby Whims, the Not So Berry, and I feel like I'm missing one. But yeah, those are the ones that I know of. So if you guys know of any extra, you should definitely let me know because I would love to check it out. I'm gonna do the Lucky Charms one. You know what, actually we just went to the store yesterday and I got a box of Lucky Charms because I freaking love Lucky Charms. <laughs> um, anyways, I lost my train of thought per usual. Also, if you guys also like the Coffee Monsters Co. and you don't follow her on her socials, so maybe you don't know, um, but she is having her birthday sale starting on the 6th. Um, it will be including pre-orders, so if you guys don't know and you need me to convince you to spend money, she is coming out with the freaking cutest things. Like, oh my god. Like, um, it's like Van Gogh. And a couple of other famous artists, like she's releasing washi tapes inspired by them. Oh my god, I died. They're so freaking cute. Oh, actually, I have something to log on the first. Hallelujah, I actually have something to log. Okay, I'm going to use this freaking cute thing with a little, uh, what's this called? The newspaper poking out. I am meeting, so a couple weeks ago, I, me and my husband we met with a church. Literally, I wrote it in the wrong place like 53, 53 times. Um, but we met with a new church that's going to be opening in September. So now I'm actually going to have coffee with them. So I'm going to write that in. Coffee with Celeste at 1 p.m. I'm really excited about that. Um, I wish their church was opening sooner, but obviously, you know, they have to get everything in order. They have to get accepted on the little loans or whatever they're getting to open up their little church facility. Like, they're brand new. Well, I mean, not brand new. I think they have a church where they're from in Ohio, but obviously they don't have a church here. <laughs> so, yeah, they're going to be opening one, and I'm super excited. I'm meeting with them to see if I want to get, um, be, like, on their team I've never been like um, a part of a church before, I guess. So 
yeah, there's that. I'm going to put this little happy moment over here. Where should I put it? Oh man, I should have put it at the very top. Okay, whatever. I'll just put, I'll just put it underneath. And then we'll draw the arrow. TC, MC, B day, <laughs> sail. I don't know why every time I get on the camera, I literally act like the biggest freaking goofball in the entire universe, but hey, you know, here we are. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy me and all of my obnoxiousness. Honestly, I'm really tired. I've been up since four o'clock because while my husband has been off this weekend, um, I have been wanting to get up early. Obviously, I've been getting up early for the past few weeks, but I've been going to bed a little bit earlier, so I haven't been getting as much as I wanted to get done, and I'm starting to feel better after my bad week last week. So I woke up extremely early today. Not really sure why. I didn't have any plans, but I just, like, I woke up because my son started fussing, and then I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was just like, okay, well, I guess I'll just get up for the day, go do my Bible study, have some amazing coffee, and play Sims. Because now that I'm recording my Sims series again, I feel like I need to like always update their outfits and get new CC. <laughs> it's just a whole thing. I absolutely, it's so much fun. Like, if you guys have never played Sims, I highly recommend it. I don't know why, like it's so, like it's a life sim simulation. I don't know why it's so fun, but like, it literally is. It's like the funnest freaking thing ever. I don't know why. I mean, every now and again, I do get burned out from it, but like overall in general, like I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed, especially since, you know, you can download all the free mods and CC to make your Sims just look freaking spectacular and it makes the gameplay so much better. So yeah, if you don't play with CC, definitely recommend it, but it does take a toll on your computer if you don't have like, I don't want to say like a good computer because, you know, I don't even know what a good computer is, to be honest. I just like, when I had my computer built, I just, <laughs> this sounds so stupid. This was back when I didn't, wasn't spending money like I was as chaotically as I was. Like I was actually very frugal with my money whenever I had like my huge savings account. So whenever I built my computer initially, I was like, well, I don't really know what this stuff means. So I guess the most expensive of everything is the best of everything. Don't do what I do, guys. Like, that was probably very stupid of me. But I have like 90 gigabytes <laughs> of CC and my computer is running spectacularly. So I guess if you were to start getting CC, just make sure you have... I don't know, like, what is it, like, is it called a good graphics card or something? I'm not really sure. I also have another thing to log on Friday. I have therapy from 4 to 5, so I'll do that. It's going to be a telehealth appointment this time, though. So I will go ahead and squeeze that one in there. Oh my goodness. My husband's trying to put my son to sleep and I guess he pooped like in the middle of it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to use this one to mark in when I watch church, which I actually put this in that spot, but it's okay. I'll just put it right below it. It feels so weird to be planning again. Like, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but hopefully this comes out cute. And hopefully I actually use it. Because I really didn't... I really... I think my son just peed on the bed. Yeah, he just peed on the bed. <laughs> but I really don't want to waste this adorable sticker kit if I end up not using the week. So... <laughs> my son's repeatedly... He's repeatedly peeing on the bed. He's so bad. <laughs> He just like realized that he can like make himself pee 
So now, so now he just thinks it's just the greatest thing in the universe. It's just, oh, PP's out. Psst. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like somebody can get this child. <laughs> okay. So I really want to use this. I really love how she did this newspaper stuff. So I really want to use this one. Um, but I don't really have any other appointments. It's so cool now that I actually have appointments. Like, I love it. Let me make sure I don't have another one to write down. Darn it, I don't. Well, actually, ooh, I'm going to put something right here. I need to schedule my son's 15-month appointment. Right? Yeah. He literally turns 15 months on the 6th. On the, what? On the 6th. Like, stop. My heart cannot take it. Are you kidding me? Like, some days I'm like, like on his bad days, like when he's fussing and stuff, I'm like, please grow up so that you can communicate with me already. But then other days I'm like, never grow up, never grow up, please stay my baby forever. <laughs> okay, so we're going to schedule 15 month appointment. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> he hates being left in the room alone. My poor baby. Okay, so yeah, it's looks it's so nice when I actually have things to plan, but for the most time, most of the time, like I don't have anything to plan. Like I just be making stuff up. You know what I mean? I'm not sure why he's screaming right now, but he is just not having a great time. I don't know why, but lately he has not wanted to let his daddy put him to sleep. Like, it has to be mommy, and that's really stressful. Because, <laughs> like, it, like, I don't know. I don't want to always have to be the one to do it, you know? Like, oh my goodness, please let your daddy put you to sleep already so mommy can breathe. Like, he already stands over me when I try to take a shower and stuff. Like, what doing? What doing? What doing? Like, son, like, seriously? I'm trying to freaking clean myself, okay? Because you got me running around sweating like a freaking dog all day long with your freaking energetic self. Like, goodness gracious, my child, please. <laughs> okay. Anyways, tangent over. I'm not even sure if we were, like, on a specific topic because I completely got distracted when my husband came out here. Um, did I already ask how your week was? <laughs> if I didn't, let me know. And then, if you've decided what you're using, oh, it's stuck. Okay, we're just going to leave it. If you decide, if you have decided what planners you are using for 2023, let me know. I am a planner fiend, so I would love to have a conversation about it. Maybe you're using a planner I've never heard of. I am trying to use less planners next year. Um... <laughs> If you saw my planner lineup at the beginning of the year, I use none of those anymore, by the way. I use my cousin, my weeks, and my six months for life planner that I just set up, and that is it. That is it. Like, I am, no, it was too much. Like, I don't know what the heck, like, I don't know what, like, I just thought I had all the time in the world to just sit down and use 50 freaking planners. I don't even know. The problem was that I had FOMO, and I just felt like, like, I didn't know what I was going to like, so I needed to get them all, and just ridiculous and I was watching all of these people that are probably sponsored by these brands like happy planners so they're like getting all this stuff sent to them for free but my stupid self is actually spending my money because I'm not getting it sent for free so I'm actually buying it because they're selling it so well like I'm so gullible I mean happy planner is great I do love happy planner but like I'm not even using I'm not using a single happy planner and I have like 20 of them like please tell me why Tell me freaking why. <laughs> why am I like this? Have a conversation every day in my head. Like, why am I like this? Like, God, please, why? Change me. Why? <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Uh, I think I like that, how I put them all in a row. I think that's cute. I think I also, I just, I don't know. Like, I hate a lot of color, but, like, these pastel rainbows, man, like, they're doing it for me. I don't know. They're, they're doing something cool. They're doing something good to me. I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I'm sorry. I don't know what type of mood I'm in today. It, 
I don't really know, so hopefully you guys don't mind. Like, I'm chatty, but, like, I feel like I'm acting, like, really weird. Um, I, you know, I, I have been up since 4 o'clock, so that could be part of it, but also I just get in, in weird moods sometimes, so I hope you, t I hope you stay in with me here. I just really don't know what to plan. I want to put all these dots in a line, too, okay? I started with purple on that one, so I'm going to start with pink on this side. Oh, but I did pink on this side. Okay, so I'm going to start... Can you... Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to start with purple, actually. And now on this side, I'm just going to go in a straight line. Straight down. <clears throat> Hopefully I have this many things to write down on uh, Monday. But you all know me. I'm, I mean, I'll freaking track how many cups of coffee I have in a day. I don't really care. Fill the page. It'll be cute, right? <laughs> but I do want to start, like, taking my son to the park and doing more stuff. And his grandma just bought him, um, like, a little play pool. So I'll probably set that up for him, and we'll go out there and play in that. That'll be really fun and really cute because he freaking loves water. Like, there's a few parks around here on the base, and then there's a few off base, actually. But, like, he loves, loves playing in the water like it's the freaking cutest thing like I just I'm obsessed with watching him play in the water like he just starts giggling and laughing and it's just like oh my goodness like it's just so cute like I could just have another baby right now and then he throws another and then he throws a fit and I'm like oh my god I'm never having another kid no no <laughs> anyways I'm never, I'm not sure how we got on that topic, but you know, here we are. I think that I am done. I think that that is full enough. Um, I don't want to make it overcrowded. Like I feel like I make some of mine and then I like get overwhelmed and I'm just writing BS on my planner. So this is what we will start with and see how it goes. These are the habits I'm going to be tracking and this is what I'm left over that I will use on my dailies. And then I'll just cut these out like I did this so that I don't waste them. So there we go, guys. Setup is complete. It's good to be back. It feels good to have a planner set up again so that I can use it if I want. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kit you are using for your planners. If you liked, give it a like. Consider subscribing if you are not already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.